as if the title screen didn't suggest it enough, A Plague Tale Innocence immediately gave off dark vibes with a splash of depression when I first loaded up the game. And while these vibes persisted throughout the majority of the campaign, I was however left feeling satisfied in most areas, but feeling slightly unsatisfied in others. A Plague Tale Innocence follows the story of a young woman named Amicia, who under unfortunate circumstances finds herself having to take care of her younger brother Hugo, as if things weren't bad enough for them. Their home gets invaded by a group called the Inquisition, and as the title suggests, a plague of diseased rats has broken out across the land, leaving the two to fend for their lives from people, disease, and rats. It's the type of story that feels very appropriate for this game, and the story itself is really well told. I personally enjoyed the voice acting, and was even more impressed by the visuals, especially when you consider that this game is technically an indie title more or less. It's really impressive to see just how hard they work to make this world pleasing to the eyes, while looking gloomy and dark at the same time. The only complaint I have about the story is how it gets a little bit strange at the end, and since I don't want to spoil anything, I'm not going to go into specifics, but let's just say it could have gone in several directions, and it's definitely a path I didn't expect for it to go. Whether that's for better or for worse is entirely up to you, and like I said, I didn't hate necessarily the way it went, it's just not necessarily the way I would have taken the story. When I saw that this game seemed to have a lot of stealth components to it though, I got very excited. The first few chapters of the game really had Amicia rely heavily on sneaking around her enemies while her brother accompanied her. The stealth mechanics themselves though are a little bit generic. For example, you throw rocks to distract enemies, you hide in thick bushes and grass, and these mechanics I've seen a dozen times before at this point. But what did feel fresh was when I was able to use Hugo to sneak past guards and open doors and windows for Amicia so she could get past to the next section. Hugo is interesting because he doesn't like to be far away from Amicia, but at the same time you can tell him to follow you or stay. There are obstacles where staying is a better option for Hugo, but if you go too far away from him, he'll start to panic and he'll alert the nearby guards. This concept of using both characters with both positive and negative repercussions is awesome, which is why I was so sad to see it get tossed aside. As the game progresses, Amicia will slowly but surely be able to acquire more abilities and be able to do more things. She can even upgrade her main weapon, the sling, and while all these upgrades are nice and her new abilities are also welcomed, at the same time though, they make it so much easier to be able to just dispose of your enemies without having to try to find ways to sneak around them. And that is the disappointing part of it. I would prefer a game that had, for the most part, entirely consisted of having to be very stealthy and had other elements that force you to be stealthy despite having these abilities. Having said that, the abilities, and I don't want to spoil them, are very unique and pretty dang cool. So it's kind of this give and take and I don't know if I love it, hate it, it's just sort of there and it's going to be up to each individual player as to whether or not they will like how this game goes because like I said, it goes in a direction that I wouldn't have expected. And towards the end of the game, it goes completely crazy, and like I said, I don't hate it, but just be prepared for that. And I guess that's what I'm trying to convey about A Plague Tale Innocence. This game is a mixture of different elements from different types of games. I would say for the most part it is an action-adventure game that has a lot of stealth mechanics incorporated into it as well as being a horror type of video game, especially when it comes to the plague rats. Those things are kind of terrifying at times, and I really like the mesh and I like what they were trying to do with them. And while some of these things seem to get lost along the way, I still really enjoyed my time with this game, and I highly recommend that you play it and give it a try. Guys, I give A Plague Tale Innocence a very, very, very solid B+, and I was almost going to go an A-, minus, but I had to stick to my guns, and a B-plus is what it gets, but I thoroughly enjoyed this game.
All right, guys, this concludes my overrated review, the most casual reviews on all of YouTube. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout. Take care.